My name is Kiara. I'm 26 years old and expecting to give birth at my parents' house. If I have a grandchild, we can get rid of that wife of yours. While I was packing, I overheard my mother-in-law bad-mouthing me to my husband. She's useless, not cute, doesn't bring in money, and has no redeeming qualities. We don't need someone like that anymore. No, 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 shut up. That's my line. I wanted to retort, but I'm heavily pregnant. My mother-in-law has always been verbally abusive, so if I leave and complain, even worse words will come back at me. It's important to be able to adapt quickly and find joy, even when faced with challenges that might affect the baby's prenatal development. I convinced myself of this and diligently packed my things. Mommy will do her best. Be born healthy, okay? Excited to see my cute baby soon, I happily went for walks and chatted with my belly every day while I was back home. Staying at my parents' house was super relaxing. No surprise visit from my mother-in-law. No complaints about the food or baby room decor. It was a breeze. Finally, my long-awaited baby arrived safely, and taking care of the baby at my parents' place was a joyful and lively experience. All right, I will be back next weekend, okay? I called my husband to report, but honestly, I wanted to stay at my parents' house a little longer. But I can't always depend on them. And I'm concerned about our house too. Because my husband doesn't help with chores, I worry the house might be messy. This will be your home, Mia. So I need to return soon and make it cozy for you. I giggled my baby, who was full and peacefully sleeping in my arms. I'm back, Kaden. With a lot of luggage, I pressed the intercom hoping someone would open the door, but there was no response. I should have informed them that I would be returning at this time. I thought this as I headed home, only to be frozen in surprise by what I saw ahead. Wh what's this? There was clutter everywhere, hardly any space to walk. It doesn't seem like the mess was caused by not cleaning. In fact, it appears more like things were haphazardly thrown around. C could this be a barbarly? With a newfound strength, I quickly rushed out of the house. H hello Is this the police? I, I just returned home from giving birth, and the house is in chaos. As I trembled while making the call, my child, who had been sleeping soundly, started crying, sending me into a panic. A familiar neighbor passing by noticed and kindly offered us a place to rest at their home for the time being. Feeling overwhelmed by surprise, fear, and taking care of my daughter, the neighbor helped calm me down, and my daughter drank some milk and fell asleep peacefully once again. In the midst of all this, the sound of police sirens approached, and I returned home with the neighbor's support. The front door was closed. I didn't look in the other rooms because the living room scared me. When I explained, the police complimented me on my good response. Encountering a burglar could be dangerous, so it's better to wait outside for the police rather than confronting them. I hadn't thought about encountering a burglar in my panic, but imagining it now made it even scarier. Huh? What's this? Why are the police here? A shrill voice echoed when the explanation of the situation with the police was mostly finished. M Mom, it's serious. The house is in chaos, and the police are here investigating if it's a burglary. Before I could finish speaking, smack, a jolt hit my cheek, and my vision blurred momentarily. 
a minute of commotion of the neighbors and police. My mother-in-law, her face flushed with anger, raised her voice loudly. "You shameless person! What are you doing, burglary? What are you thinking, calling the police?" Um, feeling the throbbing pain on my cheek and unable to comprehend my mother-in-law's fury, I stood bewildered. Instead, the neighbor reassured me that there's no shame in reporting, and that handling this situation is a police job. But my mother-in-law refused to listen. You really are inadequate. Whether it's for a maternity label or whatever, you left my precious Caden and went back to your parents' house. A daughter-in-law who isn't at home and doesn't do household chores is nothing but useless. And on top of that, you come back and cause a police commotion. Truly, an admirable daughter-in-law. Even though those around me explained that it wasn't my fault, my mother-in-law didn't seem to get any of it. I somehow managed to gather my thoughts. Huh? I thought a burglar might have broken in, and you're not concerned about any of that. And this is your first time seeing your grandchild, isn't it? Yet you seem completely uninterested. Why is that? Those around me nodded in agreement with my words. That—that's—that's that's not the point at all. A daughter-in-law who blames her mother-in-law without even apologizing. What a disgraceful thing! My mother-in-law didn't answer my question, and instead. Asserted her own opinion. Mom, what are you doing? For some reason, the one who casually intervened was Caden. Caden, listen, something terrible happened. At the appearance of her beloved son, my mother-in-law's expression lit up as she had found water in the desert. Kiara apparently called the police or something like that. Oh.、Huh? Why? She's saying it's a burglary. There's no way that's true. Caden, tell her not to make such an unreasonable fuss. I- is that so? Hey, Kiara, could it be a misunderstanding about a burglary? Making such a big fuss like this could bother the neighbors, and it isn't good. The police must be busy too, so let's ask them to leave quickly. What? I felt dizzy, but for a different reason this time. Not only my mother-in-law, who seems to regard me as her enemy, but even Kaden. My husband is saying such things. Wait, wait, Kaden. The house is a mess. Right now, the police are investigating, so we don't know yet if it's a burglary. But the way it's all scattered is strange. We were just discussing confirming what's missing and filing a report. That's not good. Kaden shouted loudly before I could finish explaining. Why? The conversation didn't seem to get through, and I became so confused that tears started flowing. When I got back, nobody was there, and the room was a mess. I was scared and didn't know what had happened. Unable to hold back, I started sobbing, and a neighbor patted my back, offering warmth that made me cry even more. Yet, my mother-in-law and husband in front of me just looked annoyed by my distress. Why don't you understand? Perhaps sensing my sadness, even my daughter, who was sleeping, started crying, and my mother-in-law and husband looked even more displeased. In the end, I was once again helped by the kindness of the neighbor, and the concerned look of the police officer, and I ended up staying at the neighbor's house for the night. Stolen items? Well, I have no idea. Kiala is just making a fuss. Come on, let's go inside. Yeah, that's right. Kiara, calm down. My mother-in-law and husband didn't mind the mess throughout the house, and promptly went into the room where the police had finished their investigation. 
I didn't think they would be like that. Facing the closed door, I remembered my husband's words. Mom still thinks I'm a kid. It's so annoying. For now, I was just going along to keep things calm, but it's a nuisance. Even though he said that, still, I couldn't just stand there forever. Apologizing repeatedly, I became a burden at the neighbor's house that night. Mommy needs to stay strong. I will do my best. I spoke to my daughter, who finally fell asleep despite fussing. The next day, when I headed home, there were my mother-in-law and husband. Mom, did you actually sleep here? Even in this condition? Why the living room somehow had enough space for the two of them? It didn't look much different from what I saw yesterday. Yesterday, when the police were here, I checked the other rooms too. They were all messy, just like before. Despite often complaining about my lack of cleaning, my mother-in-law stayed in the messy house, and she's still sitting there without even trying to clean, looking grumpy. What do you mean, actually? I couldn't leave because I felt sorry for Caden, who was abandoned by his wife. Those words struck a nerve, and I retorted, "I didn't abandon him. Is that you didn't listen to what I said, isn't it?" Well, what a way to talk! My mother-in-law's expression quickly turned into one of anger. Then Kaden chimed in from the side. Seriously, making a fuss about a burglary? Have you cooled your head? As he said this with apparent annoyance, I felt something snap inside me. Yeah, right. It's not like it's burglary, huh? Even though a surprising low voice came out of me, Kaden didn't react to my angry tone and just chuckled softly. Ah, finally got it. Yeah, making a fuss about a burglary is too much. Well, for now, just clean up, okay? As Kaden spoke, almost as if it were someone else's problem, my mother-in-law also seemed triumphant. Her chin lifted in pride. Housework and childcare are the wife's responsibilities, right? My mother-in-law spoke with a sickly sweet voice to Kaden. Huh? I'm not cleaning up. You guys made the mess, so you should clean it up. Feeling looked down upon by the two, I shrugged my shoulders in exasperation. What? What did you say? As expected. My response didn't sit well with the two of them. Really? What a wicked daughter-in-law! Stop your whining and move already! My mother-in-law impatiently urged. Such a hassle! My husband frowned too. Right in front of them, I thrust the completed divorce papers I received from the city office this morning. Let's divorce. What? My husband looked bewildered. So let's divorce right now. Then my mother-in-law swiftly took the completely divorce papers. Poor Caden, to be treated so badly like this, you poor thing. She exaggeratedly lamented, embracing my husband's head. You are such a big baby. I tried really hard to keep it in. By my true feelings slipped out of my mouth. What did you say, Yukiala? Both of them seemed ready to explode. Well, of course, they couldn't stay silent after being spoken to with such disdain. But I wasn't backing down either. Didn't hear that or can't understand it? Divorce, divorce! Come on, quickly sign and date the goodbye paper. I thought about my dignity as a person, and the fact that I shouldn't stoop to their level, but somehow it didn't matter anymore. Cut the nonsense! Get on your knees. Apologize. The two of them pushed me down and pinned me to the floor. Apologize. Kaden's strength made me tear up. At that moment, Kiala. 
Let go, of my daughter. It was my parents who came to my rescue. Behind them stood the police officer who had kindly helped us yesterday. Coughing, I felt relieved and relaxed. What the meaning of this? Get out of here now! My mother-in-law and husband struggled as the police officer restrained them. It's pointless. It's an assault in progress. With my father's help, I got up and smiled at the struggling too. Well, actually, I just asked them to confirm yesterday's events. I never thought it would escalate to assault. Though my husband snapped, I wasn't scared anymore. There are surveillance cameras set up in this house for the sake of my daughter's safety. There are live cameras, so they didn't record the intruder who messed up the room. When I said this, both of them visually relaxed. Huh? So what does that have to do with anything? I told you, there are live cameras. Even now, the neighbors who kindly helped us yesterday are watching the situation in this room. And the conversation between you two from yesterday has been confirmed by many people at the police station. I also gave my parents the address to watch. After my mother-in-law and husband disappeared behind the door yesterday, I started checking the surveillance cameras. The police officer suggested that this burglary commotion might be suspicious, perhaps even staged. Not only my mother-in-law, but also my husband seemed suspicious, he said. Unfortunately, he was right on target. Before I came back, the two of you intentionally made a mess of the room together, planning to come back and blame me for it. You two didn't want a wife who would do such unbelievable things, planning to get apology money from my parents. The reason? Surprisingly, you two didn't want the child if it's not a boy. You were ready to kick out the unwanted wife and get a new one, right? What do you call a mother-in-law approved affair? I said it all at once. And everyone there was giving the two of them cold stares. Uh, could it be some kind of mistake? Huh? Yeah, there is no way I'd cheat, right? Huh? Uh, um, Kiara, is this pointless conversation still going on? Well, for a moment, my mother-in-law seems to forget her position and was on the verge of anger, but the people around wouldn't tolerate such behavior. I refuse to stay here either. I don't want to be told I'm needed or not needed for unreasonable reasons. Relatives who hadn't asked once about the baby since I arrived here are exactly the ones I don't need. It's not normal for the neighbors who are looking after my daughter to be more caring. I'm going back to my parents' house. Of course, I will be filing for divorce and I won't give up custody. It seems the outcome is just as you want it. Wait, wait a minute. The police station? I don't want to go. I hate it. Wait! Let go! I don't want to! The two were taken away by the police amidst a commotion. After that, my mother-in-law and husband became infamous in the neighborhood. Of course, for all the wrong reasons. They even tried to make amends with divorce settlements, but it didn't make a difference. Well, that's true, isn't it? No matter how loudly you proclaimed, I didn't do it. Nobody believes it. I've returned to my parents' house, and I'm raising my daughter with them. I found a job through an acquaintance's referral. Honestly, I still have worries, and it's tough. But when I see my daughter's face, I feel motivated to do my best. I'm determined to work hard so that Mia can grow up on the right path and not be influenced by a few others.